Patriots led by their six foot five veteran quarterback Cam Newton. And when he's at the top of his game, you see that big smile. That's when you know everything is clicking. That means he's accurate throwing the football. They can't get him down in the run game. And his team is having a whole lot of fun because when they score a touchdown, some fans going to get lucky and get the game ball. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Brings up a third down. A play fake to Michelle. Now Newton. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. So because of the yards after the catch, they'll wisely decline the P.I. Yeah, since it was pass interference, they would have gotten the yardage at the spot of the foul. But as you correctly noted, a little bit of run after catch for them. That extra yardage made it easy to decline the penalty. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Second and goal from inside the five. On the ground, Michelle. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Trying to finish off this opening drive. From the three, this is third and goal. And they will run it with Michelle. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice, fast start. Get out after them and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave and that gives you a little added pep. Kick it away after the touchdown. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Well, the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And, partner, when you hear about a 6'5", 235, 240-pound quarterback, you don't often think of him being overlooked coming out of high school, do you? That's exactly what happened to Josh Allen. Overlooked, ended up going to a junior college, Reedley Community College out in California, before matriculating to the University of Wyoming, and the Cowboys were so glad to get him. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. <laughs> Throwing on second down, Allen. There's this intercepted it in. It's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. He's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon picked. And where do you go from here? Because when you start that way, 
Do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game? Or do you find a way out of it? We're going to find out. Nikhil Harry was the intended target, and it's second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points re And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. From 10 yards out. And the Patriots add on to their lead. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. You gotta like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two-score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. I gotta get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. So a little bit of a turnover. You went right back though and got that omelet and crushed it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. You gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. A little gotta worried do. about your hands though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. He was looking for Devin Singletary there. And that'll bring up second down. Throwing again. Allen. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. It's the former Michigan man, Chase Winovich, who gets in there to bring him down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. So a change of possession here on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. And this will be caught at the 30. There he goes. You know, like Allen. this. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the on, first man. half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we're usually talking about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 30. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. 
stepping up. He'll Allen hit. He lost the football. And fortunately, the Bills jump on it and get it back. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the offense. We talk a lot about setting the tone to start the game. Well, you want to start the tone right in the third quarter as well and nearly lost a football there in their first drive. And sometimes we overdo it when we talk about halftime adjustments and what teams are going to do. Most of the time, it's just a matter of executing the game plan you brought in. But I'll guarantee you, they didn't draw that play up on the whiteboard at halftime. They're fortunate to retain possession. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brings up second and five. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. That took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Allen from the gun on third down. Being chased out left. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. A fumble on the play. The Bills send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. The left side caught by Diggs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on downs. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Well, I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you have to get him. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Sonny Michelle, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it to the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there. But they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Fielded near the back of the end zone, and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the return comes to a Great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own privates. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. 
The analytics will tell you one thing or another. Has a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Throwing again on second down. Allen. He's going to let it fly. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Devin McCourty picks it off. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. At their own 38-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, Newton. That's to his running back, Sony Michel. He's got a first down against some in midfield. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Newton's going to throw it. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Brings up second down. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. Man, it's caught at the six-yard He takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. As our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land yap. A little